Last year, I proposed the question of how many people would need to cross streams to create a large enough flow rate such that it could automatically flush a toilet. And now I finally built a more legit setup to get a better answer. Although I did test it last time and found the equivalent of nine human streams could technically siphon out this stick, many people pointed out that I needed to use a larger one and it has to perform a conventional looking flush to count. I agreed, so I went ahead and upgraded this setup where instead of individual pumps and tubes like last time, I purchased a few more heavy duty pumps that can provide a significantly larger flow rate and opted to drill holes in some larger plastic tubing. I can plug and unplug these holes as needed and change the flow rate by adjusting the pump. To minimize spillage of this semi-nasty water from this used toilet, I added a foam cutout. I also added some blue food dye to make the water more visible and give off the impression of sanitation. I also added some paper towel to simulate toilet paper and a larger log as recommended. The last episode was part of my engineered bet series and I used this toilet specifications to roughly estimate that you'd need 34 and a half human streams. I'm going to reuse that line so feel free to predict again and if you want to know exactly how that line was set before guessing you can watch the old video but as a quick refresher I measured the tank volume of this toilet and performed a test flush to estimate the flow rate needed and then compared that to a rough approximation of a human stream which I determined by measuring my flow rate off camera. Lastly, to remind you why this should work at all, it's because to flush a toilet, all you need to do is dump enough water into the bowl quickly enough to raise the water level to be above this trap. And then as that water exits, it creates a siphon that pulls the rest of the water and any undesirable logs with it. With that said, it was time to begin testing and I started with just a single pump, meaning I plugged the other side. Regardless of how this goes, I'll show the full capability of this device using two pumps later. Anyway, with the log and paper towel added, it was time to start testing. Turning it on with 16 open streams and the toilet bowl was pretty slow to fill up so I had my doubts, but it ultimately did flush in the necessary time which I've tentatively set in my head as about 30 seconds. Although this was a legit flush, this obviously isn't the minimum number of streams so I needed to keep running it back, plugging one hole at a time until I find the smallest amount. Trying it again with 15 open holes and here were the results. I'll also mention that I stopped adding the paper towel because it was kind of annoying to fish out and it was pretty obvious when a legit flush happens without it. So with 15 holes, it still achieved a flush, so I'm going to plug another and try again. I'm also going to speed these next trials up to keep things moving. One last thing worth pointing out is that the flow rate through each hole isn't going to be the same between each trial. Each time I plug a hole, that changes the amount that's going to go through the others, so I also adjusted the flow rate on the pump over time to prevent the streams from shooting out too fast. I'll measure the actual total flow rate later to account for this. It was doing a lot better than I expected, but now that I got down to six tube streams, it finally met its match and it wasn't able to flush despite me leaving it on for about a minute. The water level wasn't rising fast enough to create a strong siphon and it just leaked out the bottom. So seven holes is what it takes to achieve a flush and I still needed to convert this to human equivalent streams, so I measured that with some beakers. Although this wasn't perfectly accurate, I put the beakers under the full stream and tried my best not to spill. In 4.25 seconds, it collected about a quarter of a gallon, which is the equivalent of 10 human streams. That means the under hit, and it was surprisingly close to the old result, which means I was pretty close to getting a full flush on that one. I had already purchased the second pump, so I figured why not attach it and see how well it works. I figured this should also prevent the flow from coming out angled, as you can see here, but when I turned it on, I was baffled as to why that wasn't the case. I literally sat there for like five minutes watching it flush over and over again, trying to figure out why this could be, but then I realized a stupid mistake, which was that the second pump wasn't plugged in. After fixing that and turning it on, I got a result that's much more symmetric as I was expecting, and it's pretty cool to watch this flush over and over again. It's sort of like a beautiful perpetual flushing toilet. If this disgusting semi toilety water wasn't getting everywhere, I could almost see this being a cool art found. Sitting back and listening for quite some time, and it kind of reminds me of an Ocean Audio white noise track that you might fall asleep to, although it might make you wet your bed if you listen to it on loop. So in conclusion, it should take about 10 people to flush this toilet, although your mileage may vary depending on what toilet you have if you decide to try this. I'm not necessarily recommending that, but I'm also not not recommending that. If you want to support the channel, consider checking out my other videos or buying me a coffee. You could also consider purchasing my Two Truths and Trash Science Trivia deck. 
Thanks for watching to the end, and I'll see you next time.